I'm like, yeah, but that is not the reaction I was actually expecting. I can understand abortion in certain like extreme situations, but it's not something I am for. But when he said that, I was just like, that's not what I want to hear right now. What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my very first story time and I will be telling you the story about how I found out I was expecting my baby girl. But before we get into today's video, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification button so that you will never miss an upload every Sunday at 5 p.m. And also, if you would like to support my channel, then please feel free to join the ad gang by participating in watching the ads which are displayed on my channel as this really helps me out. Okay, so as I am very, very, very close to my due date, matter of fact, the day in which I'm recording this, I am 12 days away from giving birth. No, I'm lying, 11 days away from giving birth. But the day that this video goes up, I may already be in labor or have given birth or yeah maybe in labor right now or have given birth already so I thought let me just get this out of the way because as the time gets closer I'm not going to want to do none of this so yes yeah, so I thought why not record this and you know just have it as memories and um, you know where I can always go back to and just find out you know how it all how how I found out myself and how I was in the moment. Not that I will ever forget like the moments when I found found out that I was pregnant because I still remember all three from before and obviously this one. So let me say all four. So I do remember all four, but I want to tell the story and how I found out I was pregnant. So if you want to find out how I found out, then please continue to watch. Okay, so where do I want to start? I think I'm going to start from the time when me and my husband started talking about having children, okay? And then I'll just jump to this part because I think it it adds to the story, obviously, and it kind of just give you guys a little bit more insight as to why, you know, I probably felt the way I felt when I found out I was pregnant. Okay, so when me and my husband um, first started talking about having children, Let's take it all the way back a couple years. And, um, you know, when we found out we were pregnant with Jaden, obviously we were really excited and all of that. And we was talking about, you know, what, what our plans were, which is, which was, <laughs> which seemed like it is. But um, basically we were saying that we wanted to have our children and have them kind of close to each other, like in age. So like, we actually said that we wanted, wanted them to be two years apart. But anyway, after having Jaden, we thought to ourselves, you know what, let's not try and rush, you know, building a family. Let us just enjoy raising this little one here and then, um, you know, enjoy life as well. And then when another baby comes, which we would be planning for, <laughs> you know, they will come when they do. So anyway, so we had Jaden and everything was going great. And then, um, you know, we moved to Egypt and everything like that. And then, while we were there, I found out I was pregnant. So, um, Jaden was about, how old was Jaden? About a year and a half. Jaden was something like that. He was about 15 months, yeah, almost a year and a half old. Um, and I found out I was pregnant with Noah. And obviously, by the time Noah was born, you know, Jaden was then turning two. And as it is now, you know, they're pretty much two years apart with each other. And it's funny because then me and my husband was like, I was talking with him and I was like, do you remember that time when we spoke about wanting to have our children two years apart? It seems like it's actually happening, you know, but we're like, you know what? We're not going to have any more after Noah. <laughs> we're going to, well, for now, because, you know, I really wanted to have a little girl. So, I mean, we can't plan to have a girl but you know what I mean I would just like try for another um, try again and see if we get a girl oh my god this little girl is pushing up so much in my stomach Whew. my stomach is super duper duper hard right now oh my god it's so hard 
You know, I honestly thought today that I was um, in labor, well not in labor, but about to go in labor because the pains I was feeling today, I had to call my friend who's on standby to be like, girl, you need to be on standby, standby, because this baby seemed like she is ready. <laughs> Even my midwife, she was saying, oh, the next time I see you, you may have the baby. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe like it's like so real now like the next time we see each other the baby's gonna be here so it's kind of crazy so <laughs> let's get to the part of me finding out when i'm pregnant with this little one here so um last year yeah 2018 um summertime i found out i was expecting my fourth baby now let, if i go back a little bit more to 2017 i'll link a video right here go and check it out when I was talking about, um, I think it was my video where I was talking about four reasons why my hair fell out and I was um, sharing with you guys that one of the reasons obviously being postpartum hair loss and I was saying, you know, in the future if and when I do have another baby, not if, but I know I definitely wanted to have another baby, but I was saying when that happened and I want that to be very, very, very far, far, far in the future, that very, very far, far, far in the future was not so very, very far, far, far. So last year, um, around summertime, I remember there were a lot of YouTubers coming out saying that they were pregnant. I don't remember watching them and be like, oh, good for you, welcome to motherhood, and blah, 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 etc., etc. This is not for me anytime soon, no thank you. And then I found out I was actually expecting, and I was just like, what like it is crazy so this is how i found out i was actually pregnant in june yes in june because all right my cycle it always come like clockwork 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 so um in um june my cycle was early yeah my cycle was early it was a couple of days early like probably like two days early which was kind of weird to me because i'm like that came a little bit early it was very strange to me that particular month how it went down so i thought okay it's just my body doing whatever it's doing and whatever now so when july came around and my cycle didn't come on the day it was supposed to come i thought to myself okay well my cycle did start like early and it was a little bit weird last month maybe my body is just trying to correct itself and it's going to just go right back into the flow of things right so a couple of days passed and my cycle didn't come and i was just like okay it's gonna come the next day it didn't come okay it will come the next day <laughs> it didn't come and i was like well i know i'm not pregnant because you know um obviously me and my husband we, we're quite no i can't even say that because if we were careful then i wouldn't be pregnant <laughs> but i would like to think we're we are quite careful but hey if the most high god said this is what he wanted to happen no matter how careful you are he is going to make it happen okay so i was talking to one of my friends that i hadn't spoken to in a months right it's like she just called me out of the blue and we started talking and she was telling me you know that she was expecting and everything like that i'm like oh congratulations and then i started saying to her i was like well you know my cycle is a bit late i was like i don't think i'm pregnant but you know it's a bit late and whatever not and she's like well keisha do you usually do, do your cycle usually come like on time every time and I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, well, I think you might be pregnant. I'm like, nope, I am not. And then I explained to her that, you know, the month before that my cycle came a little bit earlier and it was just kind of being crazy a little bit. And she was like, okay, so how long have you been waiting for it to correct itself? And I told her and she was like, Keisha, go and buy a pregnancy test. And I'm like, no, I am not pregnant. I am not going to buy a pregnancy test. This little girl is oh tightening up on me right now and I need to pee so badly so I'm gonna pause this right here and I'm gonna go to the toilet and I'm gonna come back give me a second oh oh right so so after speaking to my friend and she's saying yes Keisha I think you may just be pregnant go ahead and do a pregnancy test I was like no because 
I'm like, I'm going to be wasting my money going to the shop, wasting my time, wasting my money going to the shop, buying a pregnancy test, only for it to tell me that I'm not pregnant. You know, but then I was just like, in my head, I'm like, what if you are? And then I'm like, no, you are not. Like, stop. So anyway, my friend was like, you should get off the phone, go do your test, and call me back and let me know what's going on. So anyway, <laughs> I got myself ready and I'm going to the shop. I said to my husband, I'm like, hey babe, I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to go buy a pregnancy test and just get this out of the way. Like, you know, instead of us sitting here thinking, no, I'm not pregnant, but hey, why my period ain't started yet? Like, just go and just get it out of the way. So I said to him, that's what I'm going to do. And he was like, okay, cool. So I got dressed, I'm going to the shop. And while I'm driving, while I'm driving to the shop, in my mind, I'm like, Keisha, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? You are wasting fuel driving to the shop. And then you're going to waste your money buying a pregnancy test. And like, I'm having this debate in my mind and I'm like, just go back home and go and chill. It was a Sunday as well. I was like, just go back home and just chill like you're not pregnant. But then I'm like, well, I'm already in the car, so I might as well just, you know, go to the shop and just do it. Because I've got myself dressed and I'm in the car now. Just go. Got to the shop. <laughs> and I'm just walking around and like trying to find it. Couldn't find it. And then um, the pregnancy test. And I asked the, the storekeeper, I'm like, oh, where are your pregnancy tests? And he's like, oh, we have them right here behind the counter or whatever. I was like, yeah, can I have one? Boom, boom, boom. And while I'm exchanging the money, I'm just like... Why did you give this man this money, girl? You are not pregnant. Now you got a whole pregnancy test and you're going to go home, do this test, and it's going to tell you you're not pregnant. Okay, look how you're wasting your time. This is what's going on in my mind, right? So I got in the car, driving home. I'm like, well, at least, you know, I'm going to find out once and for all and I don't have to be worrying and, you know, like, why is my cycle not started yet? Like, so anyway, got home, went to the toilet and peed. <laughs> and I was just so nervous to look at the the um the stick, and I so I put it facing downwards on the on the side, and you know it says to wait like a minute or two or three. I can't even remember how long it said to wait, and I was just sitting there the whole time on the toilet, and I'm just like, okay, like do I really want to wait two three minutes or do I want to look at it real quick? And then I was like. Let me just quickly peek because I'm like, it's it probably hasn't taken just yet because I don't even think I gave it a full minute or so. And then I just quickly flipped it and looked and I saw two pink lines and I was like, what? I remember I sat on the toilet staring at the door, my mouth open like, Are you serious right now? And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, no, 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 I'm not pregnant. Like, why is this thing telling me I'm pregnant? Like, I am not pregnant. Why am I pregnant right now? <laughs> Seriously, I was just like, I was in complete shock because I was convincing myself that I was not pregnant. And I was just like, no. No, 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 no. Like, that's all that was going in my head. Like, no, 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 you're not pregnant. No, you are not pregnant right now. So after that, I got off the toilet and I went to the bedroom and I was like, babe, can you just come to the bedroom, please? I want to show you the, the results. So he came in and I just had this big old grin on my face because in the past I've done tests and I call him in the room and I'm like, babe, look. And I have this big grin on my face and he's like, this girl's like messing with me, she ain't pregnant. And obviously them times in the past, I wasn't. So he assumed with me having this big old grin on my face, it's like, you know, like a, like to kind of confuse him. So I gave it to him and he looked and he was like, okay. And I was like, what do you mean? Okay. He's like, well, you're pregnant. So I'm like, yeah, but that is not the reaction I was actually expecting. I was more expecting like, oh my God, like we pregnant again. Duh, 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 duh. 
he was just more like chilled and he was like hey you know if that's what god wants to happen then there's nothing we can do about it and blah 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 and yes that is true there's not much we can do about it because we don't believe in abortions no that's something i definitely do not um, believe in so um and i've got my personal reasons i mean i can understand abortion in certain like extreme situations but it's not something i am for so obviously you know abortion was definitely not an option but when he said that i was just like that's not what i want to hear right now i don't want to hear you saying if this is what god wants then this is what's going to happen that is not what i wanted you to say in that moment so in that moment i was not trying to hear the positive talk i was more trying to hear the the fright that I was feeling and I wanted you to feel the same type of fright that I was feeling, you know, but he was just more like, hey, you know, it's just what it is and we're just going to have to just keep moving forward. I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to keep moving forward. I understand that. But can you share the devastation right now? Like I am devastated, like devastated because it was like all these things that I had planned out and saying that we're going to do these things now. It's like no you can't do them they have to continue being on the back burner so that was what i was more upset about because i'm like damn like all these things that i've planned like i can't just go ahead with doing that because i know i'm pregnant and i know what i'm gonna have to go through so that as well was the main reason why i was kind of upset as well about being pregnant because of the fact that i remembered everything that I was gonna have to go through so like after finding out um, that I was pregnant and I felt like what the hell is going on um, I remember just I just stayed in the bed for like two whole weeks just kind of like dazed and confused like why am I pregnant like am I pregnant am I really pregnant and I don't remember I cried a few times and the reason why I was crying is not only because of like these plans which is not really nothing really but it was more so like i started to think about going through um the morning sickness phase which i hate 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 then i started thinking about how my body was going to change and being uncomfortable with sleeping and all of these things and that was what really had me crying because i'm like oh my god like it seems like as soon as i have a baby by the time they're a year and a half I'm pregnant again and it's like when am I gonna really just have my body to myself where I can just be like this is me you know <laughs> um, so I was crying and I would just could I still couldn't believe it and I was just so emotional and then around week seven I started vomiting and the vomiting lasted until about 18 weeks and I remember like every single day I was throwing up. I was throwing up every single day and that just made it even worse because remember like I said I was crying before because I was thinking about all of these things that I'm going to have to experience that I'm just not ready for or wanted to experience anytime so soon. So then I started throwing up every single day and I was just hating it. I was just like hating pregnancy and I was like, I don't want no more children. That's just it for me and whatever. And another reason why I was crying as well is because I felt like, I was like, oh my God, what if this is another boy? Like, obviously if it was another boy, then there's nothing I can do about that but accept it. But at the same time, I was like, is this going to be the little girl that I've always wanted? Or is it not going to be the little girl? You know, so I convinced myself that I was having a boy, you know, and it kind of just made me feel a little bit more down <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I'm never going to have the little girl that I've always wanted. And then obviously then I started, as I said, throwing up every single day. And then I was like, maybe I'm having a girl because I'm throwing up every single day. And with my boys in the past, obviously I threw up, but I was not throwing up every single day. But my husband was like, well, Keisha, don't get your hopes up because, you know, every pregnancy is different. Even though you may not have thrown up a lot in the past, 
this could still be a boy, you know, and whatever. So with him saying that, I was like, yeah, maybe it is. But he said, the reason why he said that to me is because he didn't want me to get my hopes up thinking that it's a girl and then be devastated if I found out it was a boy. So another thing that made me really sad um, when I found out I was pregnant is that I was online um, on YouTube just looking up pregnancy announcement videos and stuff. I was just literally just searching to find pregnancy announcement videos and what was funny is that i um came across a lot of women strange so strange came across a lot of women who were um who had boys like three boys and stuff like that like there was this one woman she had twin boys and like obviously a, a single boy from a, <laughs> a single boy one boy and then twin boys and then she found out she was pregnant <clears throat> and then she um, found out she was having a girl and there was this other woman that she had like an older son and two younger boys as well and she found out she was having a girl but I remember just watching one of them and I just started crying because I'm like because at this point I didn't know I was having a girl and like my husband was he came in the room and he saw me crying he's like what's wrong I was like these women are having their little girls and blah 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 like I'm not gonna have a girl what if I don't have a girl blah 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 and I just like crying <laughs> so my husband was just like it's okay like don't watch these videos it's gonna get you emotional and stuff like that and you know don't think that you're not gonna have a girl because he's like you know it's 50 50 and I'm like yeah but what if it's not a girl and whatever so I was just crying and I was just like convincing myself that I'm not having a girl and then obviously when it came round to my 20 week scan and they confirmed it was a girl I was like what? obviously I didn't find out until my birthday which I shared with you guys which I'll link right here for you to check out so when I found out it was a girl I was crazy excited I was like oh my god so all this time during my first half of my pregnancy I was there being so sad and like feeling down because it's like you know oh it's gonna be a boy and I'm pregnant again and all of these things and then look I had a girl I'm having a little girl belly's tightening right now so obviously we find out it was a girl I was like no this can't be true I need to go and do a 3d scan let me go do a 3d scan and confirm that it is a girl so I went and I paid extra money to do a 3d scan and they confirmed it was a girl and I was so 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 happy and I was like oh well now I can just enjoy the rest of my pregnancy <laughs> yeah so when I found out I was pregnant initially I was just like upset I was not ready for this like this is not what I wanted right now but then when I found out it was a girl I was like oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm telling you, like, all the thoughts of the things that we're going to do. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to buy her her first bra. I'm going to talk to her about her bodily functions was, as she gets older. And I was like, oh my days, we're going to go to the spa. We're going to go do these things. And I'm like, Keisha, first she has to be a baby. Then, you know, a toddler. And then go through the different stages. But in my mind already, I am seeing everything everything i just want to be her best friend i just want to be there and just you know just have that connection but um yes yeah, so i'm just waiting for my daughter to grow up already <laughs> but i'm not trying to rush her to grow up but you know i'm looking forward to those moments so i am extremely happy so basically the moral of the story is something cannot go the way you planned it to and um, because you feel like it's going to mess up everything that you've got planned but eventually it is everything you've ever wanted because like having a little girl was something that I've always wanted like and now I feel like I can be done you know I can be done so I'm gonna just leave it at that I'm not gonna say nothing else let's just say that's where it's gonna be ending <laughs> Okay, so that concludes my very first story time on how I found out I was expecting baby number four. So just to give you guys a heads up, um, the remaining videos for this month will be pregnancy related. Um, you know, it's just something for me to document and look back on and, um, you know, just to see how my pregnancy went. I mean, it's not going to be like 
vlog style it's just more so going to be like me preparing how I am going about preparing um, for you know the arrival of my baby girl so I hope you guys will enjoy those videos and um, come through and give me some love and support and I, I don't know how long I will be away from YouTube but just know your girl is going to be recovering and enjoying her baby girl like please at least give me some time please give me some time to enjoy this little girl and then i will be back to the regular scheduled hair videos so if you enjoyed today's video then please be sure to like comment and subscribe and share this content to show some love and support so until next week sunday we will be right back here with another just before I go, here's a look at what my tummy looks like. <laughs>